When you say that LA has been changed fundamentally and it's never gonna go back, what does that mean? Let's not sugarcoat this kind of imperfect paradise that's LA. There's things that predated this pandemic like homelessness that we have to solve and bring the same force of nature to that problem, the same force of collective action to resolving. And that makes me hopeful that we won't walk away and say that never happened. I could just forget that year. And obviously for those who have lost loved ones, I mean, yesterday I called six families, one after the next, to talk to the sons and daughters or widows of folks who have died. I think that just not changes just Los Angeles, but it changes this whole generation in this whole country. It never really seemed like LA was on fire with COVID yep. until now, yeah. right? Suddenly it finally came here. Why do you think you were so successful for so long? And why is it now so bad here at this moment? Well, working backwards, I think we're gonna look back at December. I think a huge part of this was probably a new variant that just spread beyond every model. The cruel thing about this pandemic and this virus is you can do everything right and it'll still get you. And I kept telling people, it's not gonna be a matter of if, but when, and our when arrived. Now the good news is it's still per capita, like well below half the deaths of what New York did and other yeah. places experienced. But that's no salve to people who have suddenly lost uh, their loved one. I just know a lot more people would be dead either way if we hadn't done those things and continued doing those things. It's not that people got exhausted, though we did. It's not that you know there was slippage or not enough enforcement, though there always could be. And we're a dense city. The CDC had LA as the most vulnerable big city in America, given our density and our poverty. And the fact that, you know, you don't fly over LA and see skyscrapers, but you walk in certain neighborhoods and you think one family lives there and there might be three in that home. And the combination of people who had to go to work and who were living together made that explode. The good news is, I think we're well past that now. In the last week or so, it's come down by almost half, maybe even two thirds if these last couple days hold, but it is definitely taken a cruel toll.